All right, everyone. So in this video here, well, this time I'm in my car, but why? Well, I wanted to make a video about there are going to be times where either I'm out and about doing things and I'm just taking a little break, but I'm not really ready to go home yet and I want to kill some time. Well, I would actually play games in my car. So, you know me, I, I do have several different uh, handheld systems like the Switch I also have a Steam Deck and the ROG Ally, but if I don't want to like physically hold the handheld in my hand, which, you know, that's kind of the whole point, uh, there are going to be times where I just want to relax a little more and play a game. So this is actually what I use to play games in my car. So right over here, I have this little steering wheel holder where I can actually just put it on my steering wheel. And this is actually mainly designed for the Steam Deck and the ROG Ally. This is actually a 3D printed steering wheel holder for the system that ironically I found off of Etsy. And say like, in this case, I wanna use the Switch. I can just place it on there and start playing. Well, I normally keep a controller in my car. And if I just turn on the controller. Um, by the way, this particular controller has the ability to have different modes. So I can use this as a switch controller. I can use this as a... Uh, as a normal Bluetooth controller for like the ROG Ally, their Windows, or even like the Steam Deck, it'll actually just see it as an Xbox controller. Even though this is laid out for the Switch, but you know, if I'm playing a non-Switch uh, handheld, the letters would just be reversed. I know I normally don't really look at the letters, I just know the button placement, so that's not really a big deal for me. So, this is what I use to play handhelds in my car. So, so yeah, I, I have access to play the games in my car a little more comfortably than just holding the system. And if, if I want to play an online game, say for example, like Fortnite, um, or if I'm on my ROG Ally, whatever um, multiplayer games are available through Windows, I can just use my phone and use the um, hotspot tethering and just play games that way. And because in the area I'm in has really fast uh, internet for cellular, playing online games, it's actually not that big of a deal. So, just wanted to give a quick little video on how I play games in my car. Um, if I wanted to throw the ROG Ally on there, I can do that. Um, the only real issue, though, is the audio part of it. So, depending on the car you have, is going to determine what kind of ways that you're going to have the audio to your car stereo system. So, because I have a newer model or a newer make Honda, um, I could use Bluetooth, but unfortunately there's too much uh, latency with the audio through Bluetooth. So I actually just use the an FM transmitter and just use the FM to transmit the audio to my, my car stereo. Unfortunately, this car doesn't have an auxiliary port. Um, you might be thinking that it's like, wait a minute, what about USB? Well, I've tried that, and unfortunately, this radio does not recognize any of that stuff. So, I'm kind of limited to FM uh, transmitters to do that. So, yeah. But, all in all, this is how I would be playing games in my car. Um, if you think this is too extravagant... Um, or too unnecessary, let me know in the comments down below. But this is how I do it, and I just wanted to uh, show how I play games on my car. So uh, 
And I actually have another version of this where um, I actually have a Surface Go tablet with uh, cellular data on it. And if I want to watch videos on it and use the larger screen, I'll just pull out the tablet, place it on here, and watch videos like that. So if I'm on lunch break or something and I want to sit in my car, I can do it this way and it's going to be a little more relaxing and all that. So that's just how I do it. Let me know down in the comments down below of what you think about this. And uh, like always, have a good one.